How's it going everyone? It's Sam. One of the parts of crypto that people get so excited about and seems to have done really well over the last three or four years are the L2s. When you think about Arbitrum, Optimism, Polygon, especially Polygon, so many people feel so strongly about them because they're sick of paying fees on Ethereum. They're sick of when things get busy, when you really want to get that NFT or you want to make a transfer or you want to convert from one crypto to another on a DEX. They're just really large fees and it makes you rethink whether you even want to do the trade. I was just making a trade a few minutes ago. And there's a $20 gas fee and this is in the crypto winter. So how bad do you think things are going to get during the summer, the bull market? maybe hundred dollar fees couple hundred dollar fees thousand dollar fees we've seen that in the past so that's what i want to talk to you today about a smaller cryptocurrency that's an l2 for ethereum now a lot of these l2s are already large market caps i mean polygon's a 6.4 billion dollar market cap so that's why i wanted to talk to you today about an l2 that's already come to the market it's not pre-sale they did a stealth launch which is something i like and it's just sitting at about a 14 million dollar market cap as of now and the name of the project is bitrock now this is a partner of the channel but i wanted to bring it to you because they did a stealth launch so unlike a lot of the projects that come out nowadays they didn't get a bunch of vcs that are going to go dump on investors they did this very quietly so that way that the the community could actually get a good number of tokens and they weren't diluted like i said or dumped on by big vcs this is what a stealth launch is in general it's a technique in which contract addresses are advertised after the token is already published on its launch date this serves to prevent malicious bots from being configured in advance as well and they also like i said didn't have big vcs they didn't have they didn't have pre-sale or private sales or anything like that so that people could get in and then get a 10x return from when you buy in so i like that i like to see that now here is a little bit about the project there uh, ibft 2.0 proof of authority side chain with near zero native gas fees and lightning speed block times on top of having a cost efficient say, scalable and high speed infrastructure bitrock has a unique multi-chain dex swap where cryptocurrencies can be traded directly on their native chains without the need to use dexes native to those chains hold native chain tokens or pay gas fees in those native tokens that'd be really nice just to have a one-stop shop for everything all of the former can be handled through bitrock's native multi-chain dex and all gas is equalized from other chains and paid in Bitrock 20. Now here's a little bit more information about Bitrock, fast and secure and scalable. It's built for scalability, security, and speed, near zero gas fees, they say are basically negligible, 0.0001 GUI, EVM compatible already. So smart contracts are building blocks for EVM applications. Bitrock is a layer two EVM sidechain blockchain that supports all EVM applications and byte codes. The gas fees are extremely low at $0.0001 per transaction or one one hundredth of a cent. Super fast blockchain, two second block time. They're also going to give the TPS here soon once they reach one million blocks. They're currently around 800,000 blocks. The price is about 13 or 14 cents depending on when you look at it since they did a stealth launch it actually moved up pretty quickly now it's just cooling off a bit but you can get them at bitmart also on uniswap they tweeted just a few days ago that the team is fully testing the bridge for the mainnet the bridge is live but not open for public since it's being tested by the bitrock team so that they can guarantee it runs 100 percent smooth and they already have five projects who are planning on launching on the chain the Bitrock team is still looking for more solid devs who are willing to launch the projects on their chain. So if you have a good concept, don't hesitate to contact them. And I'll leave links to all this underneath the video as well. So these are a couple of things that they have coming here soon. And to be clear, this is what they've already done. Let me run through a couple of those things before we get to what they're doing next. So they've already had their test not running smoothly. The mainnet is live. Native Dex Rock Swap is live. The bridge is live, Explorer is live, charting LP lock live uh, in partnership with Sphinx Labs. The blockchain already has 4,000 transactions. Dexview, Bitmart, and Pinksale integrations with Bitrock chain will be live in the next week. 
And here are some of their events to come. They say mainnet integration with various exchanges and platforms, tier one and two sex listings, centralized exchange listings, multi-chain DEX release, first official projects to launch on Bitrock, marketing campaign two, press releases, marketing articles. They have a lot more coming. They have around 5,000 Twitter followers as of now. So unlike a lot of other projects too, they're not just buying bots. It looks like they actually have people that are interested on uh, in actually their cryptocurrency and their blockchain there. So I'll leave links to all this underneath the video. As always, I think earlier projects like this give us an interesting opportunity because there will be projects that come to the market around now that do extremely well in the next cycle. The hard thing is picking them out. And while a lot of these projects do have more risk, as I said, they also have a lot more opportunity, at least for price appreciation. So this is sitting at a $13 million market cap. Just recently, Polygon Matic was at a $13 billion market cap. So we're talking about a 1,000x difference. Right now, it's about 500x difference. And without some big VCs to dump, I think that does also give some uh, sense of safety there too, at, at least away from some of the people that might have you know, thousands of tokens, tens of thousands of tokens. So that is good to see. But of course, always do your own due diligence. Make sure that you're comfortable with investing in this if you're gonna buy it. Thank you so much to Bitrock for sponsoring this video and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.